Honourable Member for Calgary Lahey. On one of the best seasons in history. 16 wins, including the complete dismantling of the CFL's second best team in the Western Final, winning every single home game. Most points scored, fewest allowed. Most wins by a rookie head coach, Dave Dickinson, the coach of the year. Rookie of the year, Devaris Daniels. Most outstanding offensive lineman, Derek Dennis. Most outstanding Canadian, Jerome Messam. Most outstanding player, quarterback, Bo Levi Mitchell, with a league high 32 touchdowns and an 8.53 winning percentage, the best in league history. Apparently, however, the Ottawa Red Blacks did not get that memo. <laughs> After the Stamps overcame a 20-point deficit, they could have claimed the biggest comeback in Great Cup history if they'd punched it in from the two-yard line with only seconds remaining, but instead, Ottawa, with a losing record in the regular season, played their best game of the year and scored the biggest upset in Great Cup history in overtime. Congrats to the Red Blacks and to former Calgary Stampede or Henry Burris, the oldest quarterback to win the Cup. Sadly, Mr. Speaker, the news was similar for the Calgary Dinos, whose starting quarterback was injured in the first quarter but came within 23 yards and 23 seconds of winning the Vanier Cup. Quick note to Mr. Commissioner. If you want the Vanier and Grey Cup to remain Canada's biggest parties and if you want to engage and inspire newer and younger Canadians while increasing attendance and revenues, please start the season in June, end it in October and expand the CFL to 12 teams we can do that. Canada's ready. Finally, Mr. Speaker, to everyone within the UFC and the Stamp Eaters organizations, thank you for an incredibly entertaining year. It wasn't the first time that the better teams lost, and it won't be the last, but I promise you, we will be back, we'll be better as we learn lessons from this year. Mr. Speaker, we were dreaming of big wins this weekend in honour of number 31, Mylon Hicks, who was tragically killed earlier this fall. And I, I know that everyone in Alberta was hoping to have his name etched on the cup. I just trust that the family knows, no matter what, we will never forget you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, my lord.